Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dragon's Dogma 2. My name is Saiken and today we're doing the mini let's play through uh, through all of uh, the base classes and I have arrived at the kind of advanced classes. Uh, there's the sorcerer and the warrior and I'm sure there are more as you're progressing through the game. For now we do have the warrior and uh, said warrior is essentially a fighter type with a two-hander uh, we equipped him with the best swag that we had and a massive massive uh, two-hander we also enchanted it so I'm expecting great things of that this is potentially the last episode of the mini playthrough I want to uh, finish up a couple of uh, things for starters we want to go with the quests and do monster culling just finish it which is going to be on the right hand uh, side uh, to uh, the east uh, point being uh, my impression so far is uh, it, it certainly is a game that has a lot of potential and if you're into action rpgs and that specific type of uh, game kind of um, very monster hunter-esque um, slash a little bit more um, broader world uh, type of game that I think you are uh, in for a treat um, I personally enjoyed the fighting uh, the RP part of it for me was a bit too uh, less hand-holding and a bit too, R um, uh, too RP heavy just didn't like it uh, as much but uh, I think that I comes down to personal to preference. Oh wow. Look at the amount of damage that we're doing. <laughs> Alright, that is crazy. Efficiency at its best. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. Good, he will be slow, but very, very hard hitting. Okay, let's try our wrath on a couple of goblins, shall we? Stamina still remains a issue. Ray, follow me. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it, I mean, the animations and just the oomph behind the strikes are very, very well done. So, since we're going into another uh, cave today, I am already looking Hold forward for the poor bastards that are going moment. to face against our massive cleaver sword. Not that such a sword would really work in real life, but it doesn't matter. It's a game. Half? Well Whoa. Did we just deal half damage? Holy that was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Hmm. Let that us looks a bit like uh, that looks a little bit Better like a nest down there. All right, bring it on, goblins. Similar damage um, with the normal strikes as our archer did. Much slower swing rate though. Cool, I think we're just going to take a break here. This, uh, yep, we're going to take a camp. Getting ready. Nothing says thank you as much as... Uh, as much as killing a couple of goblins and then taking their camp. We did a fair bit can of I shopping the other day, didn't we? Buff us, yes, I, I do can. Wonder how much of it was necessary? Taking the best buff that we have. A well-aged well, steak. We've eaten our fill. 
but say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep. And we should be very much buffed and ready. All right. We got hit points, strength, defense, attack, buffs. We literally have it all. Now it's just a matter of getting there. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Good, let me fast forward so that we can jump a little bit more into the action. Good, I figured that would be interesting. We ran right into a rune settlement. These enemies are quite strong. We do have a lot of knockdown power. Uh-oh. Oh, I see what it is. You are the caster. Alright, this is not going to go well for you. Fabulous. They do have ice weapons, which means these guys... Oh, wow. These guys were a quite tough uh, party. I did my best to match your skill, Master. Specifically, their caster was a force to be reckoned with. Nice, that was the first kind of party versus party fight. expect sunshine to follow us wherever we journey. Grumbling isn't like to improve our situation, you know. The frost weapon is super, super uh, uh, good. I'm starting to like uh, wizards more and more. I was critical at the beginning, specifically due to the gameplay um, loop, which as the sta starting class, it was One definitely the wrong, <coughs> the wrong uh, choice to go with a wizard. But I will say that their spells in that very universe are quite powerful, specifically the frost spells, taking actions away from someone else and completely incapacitating them uh, seems ultra strong. I just recall, I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? Okay, so we're soon at uh, the location. Fast forwarding again. Good, we're arriving at the location and of course there is carnage. Well... Good that we brought our greatsword. Our two hits alone <laughs> have dealt ha half of the damage. Fantastic, and just by traveling here, we're already vocation rank 3. You have a nice cape, my friend. the finding of equipment enhancing materials to me, master. I shall sniff them out and mark them on your map. Not interested. Thank you. Good, we're almost at the location. I see our goal has changed. I would not presume to direct our course, but do let me know if you require a guide. There will be other opportunities to lead. For now, let us follow. Hmm. Let's find the entrance.
quests, monster calling. What? That was all of it? Oh, come on. No dungeon? Just a bunch of goblins? Alright. I'll take it into my own hands. This here seems to be the way into the eastern forest. And we're just going to do a little bit of an exploration, guys. Now then, which way? Gotta go with Let the flow. Let us trust in ourselves and proceed with caution. I haven't buffed up and came all the way here just to kill a few gobbles. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, we are. We found the fight that we were looking for. My curative of magics are at your disposal. Wait. Try to get our pawns back into the fight. Thank you, that thing is ultra strong. I love it. All right, let's go, baby. One hit, another one, that's two good hits. This bow is beyond us. I recommend a swift retreat. No, we're not swift retreating. Ouch. It seems we have enraged our foe. I should not use their rage to our advantage. Okay. We must rally. Panicking will only pay to the enemy's party. Fantastic. It's on the ground. Now is the time to strike. If you're complete, if you're continuously being knocked around, okay, cool. It's on the ground again. That is important. I getting all of the hate. Need to pop an immediate potion there. Oh yeah, two good hits. Come on, one more. Well done. Is that thing almost on the ground again? The action. Let's get behind it. Come on. Another hit. Another hit. Oh, we're out of stamina. Not good. Fabulous hit. seems to be engaged on us. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. The longer you charge your strike, the more damage it deals. Oh yeah, maybe. That Minotaur went down in no time. Okay, it seems to me, but I might be wrong, that the number of dots uh, that these creatures have on uh, them indicates just so the extra hit powers not only, but also their strength. This here seems to be the strongest uh, individual monster that we have battled so far. By quite a margin, I might say. None of us alike in vocation. One should think we'll be able to counter whatever comes our way. As I recall, we have another matter to attend to in this domain. Perhaps we ought to go there first. What's Fantastic. So we found ourselves a hidden village. Call the nameless village. Interesting. A mysterious settlement. Well, in order to get here, you gotta fight the Minotaur. So I wonder how others are doing that. You there? Are you looking to enter the village? Sure. You best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. That man just now seems rather on edge. What could he have seen here to inspire such suspicion? You best go elsewhere. There's no business to be had here. Okay. Well. Hmm. I've things to do if you don't. Mind. What is happening? What brings you here? With this uh, village. This guy seems uh, seem oddly calm for the fact that there is a minotaur raging right what in front of their you? house door. Fancy look at my wares? Sure. Oh wow, twenty-two thousand. It appears that uh, this is kind of upgrade, even upgraded armor. Nice. Let's see if we can just sell stuff. All right, seems legit to me. This shape and I, I think, I oh know that's from the Cyclops. This here is from the Minotaur, and we're not going to sell that because we might need it later. Always a pleasure. These strange uh, yeah, things are needed for today, enchantments on your I just weapons. Hope the shopkeep understands. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. Hey, how do you know to expect you? Why not ask him yourself? You'll find him in the manor atop the... Okay. Whoever lives on top of that hill has the answers to why this is such a strange settlement. Don't bring trouble to my door. Greetings. I must say I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. 
You find me out far sooner than most. I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. If you have any questions, ask away. I should be glad to aid you. If what is about going on in the village? village seems strange to you, that is easily explained. For it is here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require to begin with. Those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. Of course, you are no exception. That you stand here now is proof you were deemed a worthy candidate. Which is to say, you have my approval as the thief oh, master. Oh, we found the thief is master. Is else you care to ask? Arthur, you say? I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't... Is there aught else you care to... You're curious what I know of you? Naturally, I... You're the second in response, she... Good, so he knows a lot about I us. Say, don't misunderstand. I'm no ally of the Queen Regent. I merely strive to maintain neutrality in political matters. Those who deal in information must ne'er align themselves with a particular power. Such is our village code. Is there aught else you care to ask? Aye. Take care then. You, sir, are worthy of inheriting my ultimate technique. Oh, are we? Once mastered, it will allow you to fell all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it and do with it what you will. Whoa. Legend Opus? What is that? At home, were detailed an exceptional ability for thieves. Okay, let's learn that. Learn thieves' master teaching. The maester's teaching is yours, Arisen. I dare say there's no truer sign of mastery, nor better reward for your efforts. Cool. So we got the thief uh, mastery. Where in the world are we? So this seems to be the natural kind of edge um, on the eastern uh, side. I shall strive to learn from your example, that I might reach new heights of my own. But we can't use uh, the thieves' uh, ul uh, ultimate ability with our current uh, vocation. I think that's not possible. Let's see if there is anything else that we can find here in the woods. But it appears to me that that was pretty much it. Although I must commend them, the I'll exploration portion of the game is really good. I always found myself interested in kind of the nearest uh, dangerous environment. Little caves here and there, and just like that, we found ourselves another treasure. I am in awe of your powers of detection. I'm sure my master would be astonished to learn this is here. There's something down there. Is it safe to descend? Okay, let's see what we got down there and then we're calling it a day afterwards. I need to... I need to finish the review of this game as well. So how do we descend down there? Oh, there is hay. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> the main pawn just broke his spine for jumping onto the riding card. Okay, so let's see if we find if we find uh, something down here. Like I said, I like the exploration piece that's so well done and it's hilarious uh, that the main pawn just broke his uh, spine this here would be a perfect entrance for cave 
I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. Look at that over there. Another camp, but unfortunately... Unfortunately, we can't get... Well, oh, wait, 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 wait. There is... Yes. There is... Right straight ahead of us, there is a cave. Okay, cool. So, we got our target. Let's do that. And uh, find out how we can get there. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Fabulous. So, down there is a cave system. All we need to do is get down there and enter the cave. It is a chest. I shall take a look inside. Uh, we can get over there. We could get over there. If we'd be a warrior, I could simply jump down and uh, use our shield uh, to lower the fall. Um, that's unfortunately not possible with this class. So you see, right there, we got a nice little uh, cave and I want to explore that so let's hope for the sake of the quality of this episode and our ankles that this year is going to work out fantastic uh, that's one way of teleporting I suppose Alright, now this cave is better would be worth it. I used a wake stone for it. Okay, lizard man. Uh wonder where is the rest there, Where's the rest of our Saurians, Master? Where's the rest of our team? Barely drank a couple of potions. Our damage is superb, but it requires, definitely requires, that someone else is standing in front of you and taking the aggro. is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Good. Let's move over there. I finally found a cave. I can't make much out from here, but I have a feeling it will be worth the climb. Master, I believe I could be of aid here. I would gladly be of aid, Arisen. There we go. Shoreline moves in, and that was the, the correct way of getting in here. God, there are innumerable <laughs> oh, Here's a surprise. Our collection grows. 
to inform my own masterpiece. Dahlia and the rest, what are you doing? Okay, almost, almost, come on. <laughs> Pushed him into the water. Fantastic. Good. Let's get the treasure. And get out of here. Find place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. How could I have made that jump the first time and then I failed five times in a row? Unbelievable. Okay, so finally, what are we going to get from the underbridge grotto? Other than a lot of headache. Nice little broadsword. And a bit of medium loot. Anyways, listen guys, that's pretty much what I have got for you today. It um, seems like a good game overall. Uh, there are pros and cons like always. I try to showcase all of the classes uh, to the best of my ability and I think uh, some of them are actually really really fun to play. Um, it, none of them is a solo class which allows uh, to, to my understanding which just allows you to plow through it. Uh, that is much appreciated and you can with all of your pawns basically end up with uh, different team comps so that seems like a good way of approaching it as well for a single player game. I personally um, potentially enjoyed uh, the rogue gameplay the most simply because it was uh, very action paced and it was the only class that had uh, dodge. Um, both the mage and the archer uh, felt a little bit bland uh, to be honest and quite overpowered in their damage um, and, and simply the aimbot but overall uh, I enjoyed it. If you enjoyed your experience with uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 uh, consider uh, that the game is currently released and available for every, uh, everybody to buy. I hope you got out of it what you wanted to see in terms of gameplay and see you in the game review and in any of the other mini let's plays. Take care and have a good day.